Hello friends, welcome to this video on how to get Shaman in Brilliant Diamond and Shannon Pearl. This involves no hacking, no nothing. You can do this offline and everyone is going to be able to do it before the event for Shaman Oaks letter is released. Now, before we get into the video, I need to give a big shout out to your man, Blaine's, who actually threw a video up on this already showing you how to do this glitch. I'm doing it because I want to give it a try. And obviously, if you haven't seen Blaine's video, then you're seeing this one. But do go over and give him a sub because he has a knack for getting glitches out and doing some really great content with the games. Okay, so we're hopping into game. Uh, where we need to go is we need to go to the Pokemon League. Now, just to make you aware that this is content that you're going to be able to do post game. So you're going to need to beat the Elite Four, have the National Dex, and you're going to be good to go. This will open a secret area in the uh, Victory Road. Uh, that you're going to be able to access so what we're going to do first is get some max repels on because we need those max repels to stop all the wild encounters now there are a few trainers on the way through this area but it's always worth for speedy purposes to uh to stop the wild encounters and stuff so you want to just come down here you want to enter victory road and you want to make your way down into this area. You're going to have to use rock climb. Where we want to be going is that door there that you can kind of see to the right of us right now. So we make our way across here. We should have battled these trainers already. And then there'll be a set of stairs over here and over the bridge. And previously, before completing the National Dex, there'll be a, a guy standing here and he'll be blocking your path so you wouldn't be able to access this area. Now you're going to be able to access it now and you come down into this area. And this is the way that we're going to be going to the secret area where Shaman is. Obviously, you want to be using Defog if you have got access to it, which you should have. It is something that you can pick up in the Safari Zone. So you're going to be able to, uh, to get that as soon as you kind of enter. If you go to your right, There'll be a girl uh, with green hair. I wish there was a back button on this so you didn't have to go right through every single app. Where are we? Where are we? Defog. So we'll use the defog, clear the way, and we're going to team up with this person here. So this NPC character creates a cutscene. Marley and Marley and um, she wants some help getting through the tunnel so we're going to team up with Marley. The good thing about it is she will heal our Pokemon as we go so that is going to be quite useful um, and again it's going to be another kind of opportunity for those shiny hunters, hardcore shiny hunters out there where you're going to have uh, double encounters as long as you're in this like mini side quest with Marley where you're going to have that double encounter rate which does increase your shiny chances because instead of one encounter you're going to be getting two. Okay so those trainers are done, we want to make our way up here and we want to be pushing these rocks aside, just be careful. The analog stick I cannot get on with in this game, it's not the best. I will say. For more intricate work, definitely jump on the D-pad. I would say that is the better option for this. You can see there's a couple more trainers here, so we'll just make quick cuts to these. Okay, those trainers done. We want to move on to the next ones. There are a bunch of items up in this cave area as well, so you can grab them when you have a minute. Like I say, the first time you come through this cavern, you're going to have to battle all these NPCs. If you come through this cavern in any kind of future situations it's going to be a lot more straightforward there's an actual easier route that you can take rather than going through all of these areas where you're pressing and having to push rocks around trainers are done as well and i think that's the now we've got one more lot of trainers to do and then we are going to be able to get out of the cavern system these trainers are done and as i say this should be the last 
ones oh no there'll be uh, one more one final bunch of trainers as we go through this area all right that is like i say the final set of trainers i don't think there are any more i think these were the last ones and uh, we should be finished our little cutscene in a moment when we are able to leave and there we go marley oh this is it there's a stone tablet ahead i want to see a pokemon that visited all the time and appreciate escorting me so there we go uh team all healed up and we are at the end of the tunnel so this is where it starts to get a little interesting because we're going to be coming to Let's just see it. What's the name? Remember, Route 224. But there are going to be a few more trainers here. You don't need to battle them. Uh, there is going to be one trainer that we are going to have to leave. So the trainer that will activate the glitch is this guy here. Let me just get rid of our poker tech. So this trainer here is the one that we want. Now you want to see his path here, really. And what we want to be doing is standing here, surfing at the same time as he encounters us. So it's a good idea to probably just save your game right now. And just make sure if you do this wrong, then you're going to be able to do this. So you want to be here and if you time it right, you want to mash A, do the battle with this guy. And then when you come out of the battle, hopefully you've engaged the glitch. Now, if you have engaged the glitch, you'll be kind of surfing on the land, if that makes sense. But we'll see if we've done it right. We might need to restart this a couple of times and do over. So this trainer doesn't have too many Pokemon. And as long as you're kind of pause game anyway, you're going to have high enough levels to, to easily beat them. So it shouldn't take too long. But here is the moment of truth. Have we done the glitch right? Because if we have, and this is like an old diamond and pearl platinum glitch that worked back in the day. So let's see, has it worked? It hasn't worked. Okay, so we do need to restart this game and do it again. So we're back in the game. And before we get into the battle as well, again, once again, it is worth just noting that it is worth turning your auto saves off because if you're in the middle of this glitch and you've got your auto saves on and it saves automatically and it will kind of mess up the glitch for you so just make sure that you have got that active or off really right so what we need to do is spam a on his path you can see you've got a little bit of time here to um to do it so we want to face the water make sure we're there yeah we are going to be surfing So we're trying to spam it and then we'll see if we do it again. Let's see. So I'm going to be sick of battling Toxicrocs and Machamps. I can tell because I don't think this is an easy thing to get. You're going to just have to have a little bit of patience with this part of the glitch. Okay, so let's see if we are going to be able to do this. Hopefully it's worked this time. I mean, we just need to, we were spamming A pretty hard there. So I'm hoping it is going to have worked. Hoping. Yes, so once the battle finishes, the message will come up, the water, uh, a deep color, and you will you will, you will surf. So we are, <laughs> we are surfing. Oh, but yes, this is a good example, okay? We're gonna have to redo that because you want to avoid the rocks and anything, any object like uh, that is around you. You need to be very smooth with it because as you've just seen, it will knock you off. So a good example will, be right back when we get on the surf again that's all we need so do the battle is it gonna happen there we go okay we got it okay yes now you want to be like super careful here like i said you know the last time we did this we bumped into the rock and you want to avoid you want to avoid going left and right you want to head straight forward once you've done it as well right 100th time lucky let's see if we can do this right about here we are gonna try and hopefully do it this time we just need to see that surfing text the battle is over we're gonna get it there we go okay so just make sure that you're not going left or right you're going straight ahead at this point because going left or right at this stage will knock you off as well you want to avoid the rocks at all costs and you want to make your way up this to this area avoid the rocks if you can and you want to be making your way past this trainer here through these trees and then you want to come up these stairs here just make sure that you're going like kind of directly up the stairs and you want to be going to this area here where these stairs are and you want to be kind of coming halfway into the stairs and what you want to do at this stage is you want to save your game so um 
we'll save right now and what you want to do at this point is you want to reset your game okay so if we've done this correctly we will be on top of the stairs and we'll be now flying rather than surfing but if we've done it incorrectly we'll still be surfing and we're gonna to have to reposition and then resave and come back into the game yet yeah, we're not in the correct position so where we want to be is we'll just come out of here a little bit and then re-enter the stairs now where you want to be is kind of to the left a little bit probably around here right halfway up the staircase so this is probably the right way to be i'm hoping so what we want to do is just resave the game save our progress and then restart the game again so let's see if the resaved area gets us flying now hopefully it does because this is the the next tricky bit of the glitch there are a few steps to this and obviously all of them are a little bit here we go so that is the correct placing that you want to be over to the left and you'll see when you come back up you should be above the staircase not in it and you know you've done it right so want to make your way down to this trainer here and then we want to see if there's an exit point No, we are doing it correctly. So yeah, we want to make the, our way to this exit point. The only reason I say we're still surfing is because you can see kind of trickles of water. So just be very careful at this stage where you want to kind of just be aiming to get to this area over here and you will come off, but it's shallow water, so we're all right. This is where we want to be. So once you've done it right, you're going to be in this area here and you want to come over to this. This is where we want to be, okay. So once you're surfing, you want to kind of make your way over to this little area here where you kind of... Don't worry, that's just my repels. There we go. Okay. And sea breaker path. So this is where we want and we want to just surf directly up here. And if we just carry on all the way up this route, this will take us to an island which should show up in just a second. So... This is the island where Shaman is located and normally you would need Orc's letter to activate this event but with this glitch it will allow you to actually get Shaman in game which is pretty cool really because you don't need any hacking or anything like that it's literally just a glitch in the game that you can take advantage of and then get this Pokemon. Now like I say this does take a little while to get to the island but we are finally here and we just want to make sure that we're on the right route so we're not on the right route here we need to be a little bit further right uh, than we were so you're gonna have to come all the way back down here and this is the tricky bit I don't know if you're gonna get this right the first time but you know you've done all the kind of hard steps up to now so it's worth just taking a little bit extra time at this point to uh, to get to the island a little frustrating that you miss it but you want to be getting on that kind of landing path there which will allow you to access the the island you're not going to be able to go across or any other route if you miss the landing pad uh, that we've we've kind of just seen. So we know we're right next to it. So we literally just need to go to the right a little bit here and there we go okay so this is the way that we want to go and you can see we can actually walk on it so this is pretty good for us we can just run up this path you can probably get on your bike this is a good way to do it actually because now you know you're on the actual path which is directly above you that would activate for you to access this island so we know we're on the right path here you don't need to surf up and this is probably a better method to do it so when you're doing it yourselves like i say you know we're trial and error here and um, we're trying this glitch out for ourselves to see if we can do it see if it actually works in game in real time for your benefit um, it's probably not worth me wasting all these max repels but I mean I'm not gonna turn it off and you can see now that we're on the island and here we are flower paradise for all of you shaman fans out there that don't want to wait for the event here we go and uh, what we can do we can see shaman shaman is active and uh, what we can do is just save our game in front of it and then we can uh, we can get ourselves i'm just going to knock the camera off so we can get ourselves a nice 
thumbnail for this video as uh, we do encounter the shaman and uh, we are going to be able to encounter it now and this is pretty hype and uh, like I said at the very start of the video um, big shout out to your man Blaine's for um, putting this information up and uh, for us to be able to do this guide like I say if you want and you are interested in glitches we're going to cover plenty of glitches here on the channel so don't get me wrong but at the same time this man is the glitch master uh, he always and never ceases to, to surprise me now you can master ball it a luxury ball it um dive ball it dive ball my favorite i'm gonna try a nest ball because i think it kind of matches i don't think we're gonna catch it in a nest ball but you never know we'll give it a go um i'm actually really short on on uh, balls at the minute so that was one thing i was on my way to do before i started doing this guide uh, but i didn't actually get to do it so we'll bring in bronze on we'll put it to sleep and we'll try and catch it that way because i've got too many things in my party that are overpowered i've not got a false swipe user in my party either all things that i'm telling you now because it might be worth you considering putting those in before you head over to do this quest um you know even if you get to the island you're going to be able to access your pc so you'll be able to throw in some pokemon to do it i just haven't done it before our battle so uh, we are going to just put the shame to sleep give ourselves the best chance possible and uh, our premier ball i remember my very first shaman that i got in the original uh, games diamond pearl platinum where I had my shaman in a premier ball. So we could try and do it that way. It feels like it's going to be a bit of a difficult task to do it. Although I have got nine premier balls uh, to, to kind of waste because they're all freebies, aren't they? Let's see. Can we get lucky? Please, come on. Come on. Let this. Oh, so close. <laughs> so close. So close. Third time lucky. Can we do it with ball number seven? Let's see if we can do it. Come on. Let's get this, pre this premier ball going throwback to old school days and we did it there we go we've got shaman and the event uh, without it actually being active and glitches are just nuts i do love the fact that you can do this in game without having to hack or anything like that any outside resources get shaman it lives in common flower patches but is very noticed it's often mistaken for a flower plant when curled up because it's super cute and it looks like a hedgehog and it's sent to our boxes so um we'll be able to ac access our box from here and we'll be able to take a quick look at shaman where are you now shaman right here and uh, we'll be able to check the summary of it and uh, hopefully it's naive not the best nature natural cure and let's have a look at its iv spread so let's uh, see what we've got um okay best 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 you're gonna get three guaranteed ivs very good pretty good very good so not too bad not too shabby but friends that about wraps up today's episode i hope you found it useful and i hope if you do try the glitch uh, you uh, have a lot of success with it i think the key point to it is just having a bit of patience when you're trying to get these steps kind of put in place to be able to get to the island because the getting the surf glitch to activate is pretty frustrating and then once you've got it because that is a, a tedious task you're going to get very frustrated very quickly if you knock into things and come off and have to restart the whole process again. So just have a bit of patience, follow the steps in the guide, watch the whole guide as a whole, and then follow the things that I've done to do it right and don't do the things that I've done to knock me off in the process of doing it. But um, if you do manage to do this and you do grab yourself shaming, then let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear uh, your success stories and if you've done it or not. So thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all for another video here on the channel very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.